The Attempters. Welcome back to the darkness. I just killed these guys. And Pat's a super tired because it's 3 o'clock in the morning and he's being a little bitch. Isn't that right? Okay. Why won't you say anything? <laughs> no, you don't even look at me daring anymore. No, but seriously, Tom. You make me uncomfortable. <laughs> seriously, stop it. Take the stairs. <laughs> you will take the stairs! No, no, don't touch me. Okay, um, perform an execution. Yes, be a sheep and follow the words. Dude, I want one of those guys. That's pretty cool. I love the clover. Oh, really? How did you finish that? I think you made me get into the step. The bottom step was step. Oh, I like the ragdoll physics in this game. Oh, God. He just got back up. He told you, no. <laughs> I am not dead. No. No. Come on. I, I, I hate that shit. Well, I killed everyone. Well, you did. I still hear you yelling. Shh. No, they're dead. Really? You didn't put that shit on you. I hung up the hair with this asshole. You've never even met me. Don't judge me. <laughs> asshole. I'm Jackie Estacado. Oh, oh shit! Oh god! Damn it! Oh god! Okay, well, how did that happen? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Cause I got friends. Friends that stick to me. And I'll be oh god. Fucking die! Those, those ones go through fucking brick and mortar. God dang it! Ah. Nice I was trying to destroy that red thing. I think it's a, a flammable. It is so late that we're not talking very much. Give me something to talk about, bitch. Why should I when you gotta be that rude about it? <laughs> why you gotta be why you gotta be mean to me? You know what I'm doing. Be mean at you. Yeah, you're being mean to me. I'm not playing that game. <laughs> I like chicken. I like steak. Salad. Well, no one likes you. Just a second, I gotta do something. Well, you don't. Yeah, I do. No. Aha! Aha! Sorry, I had to pick my nose. It was gross. You like my nose? Stand still. Because if it's green, you gotta worry. If it wasn't green. Why? Why do you have to worry if it's green? That means if you're sick. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Huh. Why don't they find some sex or change the color, you know? Haven't you ever noticed that? No, not really. I'm not. Another good indicator of whether or not you're sick is the, 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 flame, that, the flame that comes up. If it's like a, a milky white, then it's safe. If it's like a, a yellow and beyond, then you're bad. Okay. I did not know that. Good to know. Okay. How do I jump? Okay. Okay. What the hell? I he, he jumps like a pansy. I did this wrong. Jumps like a pansy. He's Jackie Estacado. He doesn't have to jump. <laughs> Well, then, you should use his Chris Angel like ah. shit. I killed those guys. Not that guy. Oh, that's that bullshit, guy. dude. Oh, come on. That in the elevator. Congratulations. Oh, really? You brought me all the way back here? Okay. That was my but bad. I'd say, I mean, they, they were a little bit more space that time. Yeah, I agree. Alright. So I got an idea for, I, I want to tell you a story. 
No, actually, maybe. I like opera. I love opera too. It's pretty good stuff. I've been watching. I watched. I've been uh, binging Seinfeld, so I saw that episode with the opera. Ah, the killer clown guy. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a good episode. I've been binging the shit out of Seinfeld since it's been on Hulu. I'm on season five right now. I'm almost done. Alright, so, what's your best, um, a homeless story? Well, like, encounter with a homeless man or woman. So far, the best one is, uh, this homeless guy that came out to me, actually, just this night. This night? This night. I swear, he came up on me like a, like a freaking Asian guy from... Hey, hangover part one, two, and three. <laughs> Minus the car. So it was not in the back of the trunk. What did he say? Well, as I walk into the parking lot in our Manny's in Orville, I mean, I'm hearing a lot of yelling, and I thought it was maybe a maybe a couple or maybe a very drunk guy. I was right about the very drunk guy. <laughs> it was not a couple by no means. Okay. And when I realized who it was yelling, he was yelling at nothing. There was no one else in the parking lot but me and the time. I was the lucky one. <laughs> he comes up on me asking me if I have a cigarette. I say, I don't smoke. All of a sudden, we get into a conversation now. He says, oh. He had to reassure himself that he was mom. I'm mom, so I don't know. It's funny, because I, 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 uh, when I used to live in Fernalito, I know another part of the world, um, I, me and, uh, me and, uh, me and Philip were doing the shoot, and so we were shooting outside, and all of a sudden there was a mung guy walking down the street in a plastic bag. He was wearing nothing but a plastic bag, garbage bag. It was pretty funny. Wow. Uh, also in our town, there's this really, really crazy lady. Her name's I don't know. I don't. She's like she has like a Russian accent. Uh, I don't know her name, but she's got hair on her chin, and she's really old, and she walks around with bags of cans, and, that, and she flips everyone off for some reason. I don't know the, the reason. Bags of cans. Yeah, she's always carrying bags and bags of cans. Yeah, I know that one, but I thought you were talking about the one with the white hair on her chin. No, no, there's that one too, but I've never met her. She's scary. Yeah, she's a No, I'm talking about the, the one with the hair on her chin that's... I had to look... That she's really, really skinny. Yeah. But basically... I've been around her. She's, you know, she's like Oroville's homeless person, just like that the crazy lady, cat lady from Simpsons. That's how I feel her ass. But no, dude. Dude, the crazier one is the one with the, the white hair on her chin in our town. She always says, shakes her hands, but she has a legit excuse for that. She does have nerve damage on her hands. Okay. But I have some cab driver stories for you about her. She's been kicked out of Yellow Cab three different times, 86. Somehow keeps coming back. And there's one cabbie in particular who says, the last two times that he had to drive her, and she pissed on the seats. Yeah, there's some crazy people out there, man. But this lady, I haven't finished my story. She's. I didn't finish about my mom's story. Oh, well, then continue. <laughs> I didn't know. And so, and so after after the first attempt at him asking me for a cigarette, and me telling him I don't smoke, I have nothing on my person to give you. <laughs> Then is when he then starts in with the, you know, I'm mum, so I don't know. I'm waiting for him to finish, you know, giving me a little bit more adverbs and maybe into an action of what he's asking about. He doesn't. He just cuts off and then you know, chugs back his paper bag. Clearly, hard alcohol in that bag. I hear it swish when he you know, drew his head back. And then uh, he shakes my hand like 50 times <laughs> in a two minute span. It's like, give me your hand again. <laughs> and, uh, 
And then like, oh god, why are you kidding me? For like three different times, he goes, oh mom. So I, I have to know that they were shooting at you. So I don't know, and then he says, uh, you know, women. What, women. I'm like, oh, good. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we'll continue this uh, conversation on the next episode, and I'll be back where I was supposed to be because I didn't see a motherfucker out of the window shooting at me. All right. Um, see you all in the next round. Bye bye.